All right, today we have a 2024 Supreme S220 sitting in electric blue as the main stripe down the sides and a white hall and interior deck as well as Roswell Tower. Sits on a tandem axle Boatmate trailer, color matched with chrome wheels and a spare tire. Overall, a nice looking boat. Well equipped. We'll go through the options on this after we get done kind of walking around the outside. S220 is an awesome performing boat. Great size at 22 feet. Uh, fits a decent sized crew. Has room for gear. You're just not going to feel like you're in a massive, massive boat like you do in some of the 23 plus foot boats. Uh, but you're not going to feel as squished as you would in a, in a nice uh, or in a 21 footer. So it's a nice, happy medium in that 22, 23 foot range. Is it just it works for everyone really nicely. Uh, we did tint the windows up front. Also has just blocked by the guide poles right now, but it has Chrome Supreme logos on the side. Dual gas fills as well. Up top on the tower, we've got a set of Roswell rotating board racks, a so long bimini with surf pockets, and two what sounds Rev 10 tower speakers. We'll go through the stereo again when we uh, hop on the interior. Coming around the back, it is equipped with quick surf, as well as a silent stinger wave plate here in the center, which uh, pushes down that exhaust into your prop stream. So you get a nice quiet uh, engine tone and more importantly, you're not breathing in all the exhaust fumes while you're behind the boat surfing. See the hull, this boat's nice and deep. You feel nice and secure down inside the boat when you're driving it. And the deep V on this Supreme hull offers a really comfortable soft ride. The most comfortable ride in its segment, hands down. Um, See those nice body lines down the side of the boat. I really like the way the the S series from Supreme looks. I think they just have a nice, um, more of a classic styling than than maybe the ZS. Um, probably suits the tastes of more people than than a ZS might. But overall, just a really pretty boat. So let's hop inside, check out the interior on this. We do have the steps on the trailer to make it easier to step up into the boat. And checking out the vinyl on this thing, we did Whisper Gray, which is a nice light gray. If you kind of get it up next to our white um, gel coat, you can see it's not super dark, but significantly darker than the white so it is definitely much easier to keep clean but not so dark that uh, it's gonna get very hot in the Sun so I really really like this color on our interiors on our Supremes always looks good um, do have electric blue as our piping in accent which is the outside the box texture on it and then we have white stitching gator step is in shark fin over uh, over blue and that matches the blue and in the interior pretty much perfectly, which is really, really nice. So um, you can see we have that on the gunnels the whole way around the boat for stepping in and out when you're at the dock, as well as your floor and around the sides of the seat bases, which keeps your, uh, your gel coat from getting scratched up. You see that on a lot of boats. So they go the extra mile and pad this thing up, as you can see. Um, talk about the tower and the bimini again. This bimini folds up nicely into this boot. All you've got to do is unzip it, flip it forwards, lock a pin through up here on the front, and you're done. It's the easiest bimini that you can get for these boats and provides the most shade, which covers from, you know, basically right even with uh, this back seat all the way up to, to the windshield. So pretty much the entire main seating area of the boat is in the shade. Let's flip open the back here real quick. Take a peek at the engine. 
where we have a PCM 6 liter, 409 horsepower. Um, they call it Supreme Power by GM Marine, but it is a PCM. When we pair that with the heavy duty prop, it is a very nice combination, especially with the gear reduction transmission to handle all the weight that this boat has. Now this boat you can option from the factory with 4,400 pounds of ballast. We have all available ballast option on this boat minus the bow bag, which totals in at, uh, I'd say realistically 4,100 pounds of ballast. Um, reason being is if you're surfing primarily all the time you don't use the bow bag in this boat it's uh flattens out the wake too much when you have that weight in the bow uh we found over the past couple years using these that we're not really using the bow bag so why are we optioning it on the boat if you're not using it if somebody wants to add it great we can totally throw a bow bag in the boat if if you so wish but this has about 4100 pounds of ballast in it has the rear bags which i was just filming on either side then we have our tanks that run from the rear corners of the boat all the way up to about right here that are built into the hull, which carries the majority of the weight in the boat and then we have a uh, a belly tank right here a bag um, all those are on their own individual pumps you have a relatively quick fill time on everything which is really cool you can open up our seats here we have free floating seats in this boat so the seat cushions just fully pull out um, but you have nice storage underneath the seats with no carpet which is amazing because we all know one thing is that carpet holds water and a lot of boats in this segment still have carpet or come standard with carpet through the uh, the interior floor and this stuff gets nasty if you don't dry it out our rear seat can slide forward like you're seeing here. And you have a nice big step in the back to lead you down into the interior. These seats open up as well, same as the other side. A little bit more room. So you have storage from this corner all the way up communicating into the OB area under our love seat, which you can get to by simply flipping up the seat back. And you can get a little idea. There's quite a bit of room in here. I could easily crawl in there and actually stretch out and be pretty comfortable. So tons of room underneath. Uh, they changed the layout in these. You used to be able to flip up the seat into the bow. I don't know how valuable that was and how useful that was because the opening was pretty small. So what they've done is they've taken some of the uh, componentry, like your amps, and move them to that back wall, which made this space a little bit wider and more usable for you. So a really nice improvement. I'm a fan of that. Um, I don't think it took much functionality away from the boat by, by doing that. And you get a little bit more storage room under there, which is, you know, storage is at a premium in, in boats these days with all the ballast we're adding to them. Um, one of my favorite improvements for 2024 is we have an actual head unit. It is still controllable through the screen, but you also have a, uh, um, well, I'm gonna turn the volume down, I got the radio on, but you have a, a head unit right here, as well as a controller over here at the helm. So super, super nice. Again, you can go through the screen if you'd like um, and adjust the volume up and down with the buttons, like so, but it's really nice to have a physical tactile controller for your volume changing the song. You can actually adjust the zones in the boat now, which is really sweet. Um, and also we have a new battery system where you can um, disable the, the engine. Uh, you can uh, disable the house battery. You can set it on the auto, uh, that auto relay to, to bounce back and forth to charge the lower battery. Um, so an improved power system on these boats as well. And then we have charging ports in the glove box too. Supreme S220 logo looks cool on that uh, glove box lid. And let's come on over to the helm. Again, we have a wireless charging pad right here to clamp your phone into place, which is really cool. And then nice big driver's seat that bolsters up 
if you want to sit up a little bit higher. But one of my favorite things about this hall is that it stays really nice and bow down while you're surfing. So you have great visibility through the front of the boat. Nice tall windshield. Screens kind of tucked down low. And you just have a nice view out the front. Uh, again, this boat's comfortable on rough water. It's comfortable from the driver's seat. Uh, if you're pulling surfers all day, you're not going to feel like you need to stand up. Um, it's just a, it's a good place to be. We've got our screen here. We can go through and adjust uh, and, and make edits to our surf system. You can control all your ballast. There is, again, we have the uh, five different ballast locations in the boat. Uh, you have an optional map upgrade that you can get on these. This boat is not equipped with it. Again, your stereo. And lastly, you have rider presets. You can, uh, you, know, you can dial your wave in and save it and come back to it every time you hit the lake. Over here on the right, we have all of our switches for lights, uh, bilge, blower, nav, nav lights for nighttime. And lastly, we have our center trim tab, stinger plate adjustment on the left side of the steering wheel so you can get to it pretty easily all the time. There is a standard mirror mounted on the windshield. And as we come up into the bow, we have a nice deep bow in this thing. And it's not specifically a traditional bow. It definitely has this rounded nose. It carries more of a traditional bow look on this boat. Um, but kind of having it rounded off gives a little bit more space up here. So you can stretch out and have, have a little bit more room. Um, the plus side of not having the ballast bag in the bow of this boat is there's actual usable storage. As you can see, we have the cover on that side. We have a bunch of fenders stashed on this side. So this comes with, I think we got, yeah, we have four fenders in here. And those all fit on that one side. So um, nice to have the storage up here in the bow of the boat. It pretty much covers it for the features on this 220. It's surf ready, it has, throws a killer wave. It's super easy to dial in and just an awesome all around boat for anything you want to do really. I mean, it's a really fun wakeboard boat if you're into that too. Um, but hit us up at N3Boatworks for more info. Uh, you can reach us at 317-845-9253. Call us with any questions. If you want to come check out this beautiful S220, we've got it here at the shop. Thanks for watching.